Kyle, that game was so long that I changed clothes halfway through. <laughs> <laughs> Well, you know, in this next game, the online audience is going to get quite a significant amount of time to do all that good messing arounding with those uh, players. But I think we're going to have to begin with a little bit of what we call uh, an expediting process. I, I like that. Yeah. Yeah. Why don't you explain this new fancy term? Believe it or not, it's not going to be a critter catastrophe. That's, I want everyone to lose immediately. At the exact is, same time. Isn't that fun? No, we want to we wanna give the agency the advantage to the players. So, of course, I need to ask the audience what they think I'm talking about. I don't... Mutation. Mutation. Ah, Starting yes. Starting with the gold, that's also kind of cool. All right. shot of the deciders of fate. All right. All right. Looks like we're just getting set up into the game. Mike, tell me again. How is Team In Control going to be able to pull this one back? Well, In Control needs to last at least 11 minutes in this game. <laughs> So we'll see if he can do that. It's going to be tough for him, but uh, we'll see. All right. I, I'm kind of curious. Is In Control, are they Team Blue or Red? I forget. Uh, in Control is Team Blue. Yes, Team Blue. All right. I, I'm actually genuinely curious. Sorry yeah. if I just got really loud. It probably did. If you guys want In Control, raise Blue to win. And if you want Select to win, raise Red. I'm actually really curious. Team Select? Ooh. Wow. That, that's actually a lot of select, but of course, in control, always having the home field advantage. That is true. You know what? Even though we're going to let that audience do, even though we're going to let the audience do all sorts of fun awesomeness, the game's going to begin with a lot of mutation pickups and gold minerals for everyone. So let's go ahead and get set up. Okay. Uh, oh, whoops. I accidentally have select and in control on the same team. <laughs> Lol, and now it looks like everything's set up. Oh, okay. Good, good. All right, the players are indeed ready. Bam, ladies and gentlemen, it's time for the final match of match number, or series number one. It's going to be in control versus select. Nice. Currently tied 1-1. You I actually almost hit someone right in the face. <laughs> That's how we do it here. Red Bull and Seattle. <laughs> well, here we go. Getting ready to go into the game. Ladies and gentlemen, are you ready? That was awesome. Let's introduce our players. No, you know what? Let's no. not introduce our players. Let's Gold do the blessings. Minerals. Blessings Gold for everybody. Minerals. Global. One, two, three, four, five. Seems good. Ooh. All right. Those are heavily con concentrated. They're in the center. All right. Okay. Okay. They say more. One, two, three, four, five. And that's enough. I'm glad you sedated that one early. That was going to get out of control quick. Oh, my God. Sassifer is actually the only player sending anything out. Oh, dear. Oh, he only grabs three. Sassifer, keep going. That's kind of, you know, I will say at a mess around for fun event, someone being like, wait a minute, someone might do something unfair. <laughs> And that same guy five minutes ago, put Baylings on his burger <laughs> field. <laughs> if you have a stick, hit him with the stick. <laughs> hit him again with the stick. Sassifer. Can you just always talk like that? That would be great. <laughs> yeah. At Starbucks, I'd like a latte. <laughs> An extra shot of espresso. I'm kind of tired today. And if you have a stick, hit it with the stick. <laughs> And it looks like, uh-oh. Oh, God. Sassifer's what? worker. That has 395 HP. Well. Oh, my God. He's found a pickup, Bane. Oh, right. my goodness. Oh, this is, this is exciting stuff, Sean. <laughs> this worker does, it does 25 damage per shot. Well, it looks like... That's actually an interesting concept. Let's give it a shot. Let's see what happens when this random work. Oh, God. What have you done, Sean? 
Oh my god, this is actually, this is like a mix between Super Smash Brothers and StarCraft 2. Everything's sort of huge and <laughs> cartoonish and nothing dies. It just sort of flies off the screen. Oh god, he could. Up. He's he repairing do? his rampant super worker. Oh, he did get a trap though. No, he's repairing it. Yeah, he's going to go ahead and repair it. And the most action-packed battle of the evening commences right now. Unbelievable. Oh my god, he is, he's going to kill the barracks. Lift! Lift! Sassifer! Oh! oh Sassifer ends up losing it. Well, I can't actually tell. Oh, select my straight for the command center here. Oh my oh, god. Oh, guys, thank you so much, Jamie. Oh Sassifer! It is not. Or is, it, is it burning down? I think that it is. No, he does manage to repair it, though. Well, it looks like select gets it. As things are continuing along, in the meantime, in control is walling off, sitting comfortably, securely. His ally. Totally boned. In control saying, I'm going to make it to minute 11 this game. I'm going to see what that feels like. <laughs> Only to be owned by Baneling Mines in his mineral field, but that's fine. The high yield expansion, though, that, uh, that buff did eventually wear off. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. But we have a poll from the online audience knowing. Oh, tell me more. Letting us know. Does it involve get destructible that rocks? Well, it's all about the, the bonus minerals, and it looks like they want Team Ooh. Blue. Very close. Gold minerals, team blue. That was the most roller coaster response ever. Yeah, no. Boo, yeah, yeah! yeah! Oh, oh god, no. Select with his mega workers. You find these uh these are the ones that were upgrades with this. Look at rampant how workers going fast on. they repair each other. If they begin to repair each other, you'll actually see that they repair each other at the same rate as normal SCV repair. What unit is he picking up with uh, those things with? I can't quite see where that's at. Oh, it's a mega link. A uh, super zergling, 125 HP on that with zergling speed on the way. Look at this repair. Select, stop. Stop your worker. Kyung Hyun. Hey, select. Hey. Whatever, Mike. He's got his game face on, Sean. All right, looks like he's going to go to the corner. And uh, this is uninteresting. In the meantime, in control. <laughs> In control using a common technique from his MLG career, for gating <laughs> And hiding pylons. Believe me, Jeff, I still remember when he got first in group hiding pylons in three of the four matches. And it worked every time. Will it work this time? Reason under duress. Does look like in control going to be attacking up here in the top right side. Sean, you've heard his feelings. And as we all know, he has never said a bad thing about anybody. And it looks like Control starting to do some serious damage into the main base. He's targeting the main hatchery. What do we do, ladies and gents? What do we do? The crowd has spoken. They wish for nothing. In Control gets the kill. Does kill the hatchery. So now it is going to be a 2v1 situation. So I'm going to go ahead and try and land at his natural. But you gotta remember, Select's been able to macro this entire time as he decided to take the uh, take the approach of being a pacifist for a while, build up. Select decided to go grab those upgrades in the center. Well, now he still have those SCVs, though. <laughs> and he does. And it looks like he will save the spawning pool with relative ease. Oh, the SCVs are repairing there as well. He is going to clean up those zealots. Oh, my God. These self-repairing SCVs that do 25 damage a shot are good, Mike. <laughs> Reason that. taking himself another base. Now, the online audience once again got to go ahead and do some more destructible rocks placement. Let's see how many destructible rocks they did so. Yeah, I wonder if it's going to be the highest number. I'm blown away. Uh, um, well, that's that's not going to have the biggest impact. Poor Select getting Oh, a there's a DT going. inside his main base, so he does have an engineering Wait. bay here. How much energy is on that command center? Oh, not 40. enough. He's oh my about God. to have enough here. There's only the one DT. No, there is two tempo. now, so he is going to have to go ahead and throw down a decent scan here. Team Red in a lot of trouble. In control, ripping his opponent's shred with DT. One scan, scan number one. He leaves that one up. The engineering bay, I don't know if he ever finished it or not. Nope. It's on the way down the bottom there right side. does finally get him a can. He set up a turret. Well, this is going to be certainly bad news. Bears in control has constructed a reasonably uh, placed expansion. At this point in time, I'm, I'm feeling a little bit low on the critters, Mike. You know, is there anything we can do to remedy that? It. It. Okay. Well, the critter 
catastrophe has begun, but the bigger catastrophe is the units lost after select getting higher and higher and higher and higher. Right now, it looks like the Karax continuing to invade Sasper. And doesn't think we'll have enough back at home to hold off these critters. Right now, I think the answer... Well, he has a rock and cannons. Good enough. Effective. Uh -oh. That pilot is still south to the right side. It does look like Select's going to try and clean these out. DT's, though, still oh, no. lose to the main base. He's going to kill off the Uber SCB. 20 HP there, able to barely save it. Are those SCBs going to come into effect later in the game? They very well could. Look at that repair rate. Very, very fancy. He is going to hold this off for now. The critter is going to continue streaming down for another two minutes here. He's like most likely not going to be able to move out anytime soon. He's going to try and get that force. God, the Karaks really are banging up on Select here, man. It's because there's no player in the top right right now. Well, his ally does have that expansion, so I don't know if he can. Oh, there he goes. I think he's still tin pooled. He's still tin pooled. Numbers are starting to slowly climb. Kind of like with everything going on, the online audience is going to get again the opportunity to make a big decision. Incoming. Oh my god. <laughs> Sneaking in in the midst of the crisis in control with the DT timing. Looks like Select's going to have a hard time holding us off. That's a lot of critters. <laughs> He's actually going to get to kill it off. Critters swarming in, select in a lot of trouble. Team in control, totally fine, it looks like. Zastafer, select requesting some help. The, the crowd says no, they say. The crowd, the crowd actually saying kill him. Oh no! Reason is fine. Is absolutely a okay. Trying to get that turret up. The scan goes down. He does have that rampant. It's not really rampant, but the uber workers there actually having to put them to work. But two more DTs are on the way. And on the back of this, in control does have 75 supply, so he's able to get that expansion up. Finally cleaning out those rocks. Wow. In the base, but more DTs on the way. And the online audience had to decide between mutation pickups, crater catastrophe, or bangling minefields. What will their option be? We're gonna find out soon enough, as right now in control, starting to clean everything up. They wanted another critter catastrophe. You got it. At this point four, in time, select. Uh -oh. And control might actually be able to end it right here. Select begging for infestors. I so badly want to give it to him, but uh, well, it's 10. The crowd says no. You got it, crowd. Thank you. After that hour-long game number two, we have no choice. My god, that's so cool. Finish him! Finish, Finish him. him! Kill him! All right, looks like Select doesn't have a whole lot left. His ally doesn't have a lot either. Base on the top right side, getting attacked by those neutral critters. I think In Control can actually do it. But at what point does In Control say, look, bro, you're dead, and then lose? Well, ideally, he would say it at some point. Looks like Select saying, please give me some infestors. You know what, Mike? I'm going to do it just this once. Just this once. But R3 going to be enough to hold this up. Oh, he's going to lose one right away. Does throw out the Neural Parasite, but unfortunately, I don't think that's going to be enough. Oh my god. It's like more. <laughs> The critters suddenly dealing more damage than the DTs, even. Reason under serious fire. Select trying so hard, and part of me hopes that he does that common technique of literally floating to the corner of the map and being like, we get air. It's time for you to get Phoenix, and then you land it. But does the Angel fighting the birds here to clean up this base just so he himself can have the glory of killing it off? And but hey, at least he killed revealed. the DT. Another Infestor Fungal Growth gets it. All right. Hang in there, Select. You got this. There it is. Face getting killed off. Reason in trouble because he doesn't have anything. He does have some larva, but that's about it. Oh, those units this do not like that factory. The Karaks know their goal in life is to die. 
Oh, the DT is going to be fighting this here, going to be cleaning up that mule. The last SCB goes down, and it's going to put this back into the red. It is burning down here, so he's got to land it to try and repair it, but I think that's the only one of the, yep, only one of All the right. command series remain. Well, I'm going to be honest. Uh, there it is. <laughs> here's, here's the other one. <laughs> There's also a factory over here, you guys. It looks like perhaps I would call it the unthinkable. I was expecting them to go 2-0. and o. Select calling me BM. I don't deny it at all. And yes, he did float it to the corner of the map. Critters. Yeah, critters. Critters cause a critter catastrophe. And tragically, after a valiantly fought game number two, after the incredible comeback, it looks like Team Select might finally run out, out of, of GG. Oh! GG! oh! And oh. Control has done it. Ladies and gentlemen, it's time for interviews. After a super, super, super long game number two, and control was able to do it. Now everyone's wondering, when is in control going to rip off his shirt? Uh, I'm, I'm tangled up in these microphone cables. Fortunately, I have the ability to turn this one on. Yes. Ladies and gentlemen, I present to you the winners of Game 2, <laughs> Team Select! Now, now Select, we, we have our analysis board here. Can you show us on here what went wrong in your previous game? Hold it up to your mouth. Yeah? This rock? <laughs> I, I, I couldn't mind. I couldn't mind anything. Looks like Select's telling us he was having trouble with some rocks here. <laughs> and also there were some significant issues with uh, critters coming from here. <laughs> the numbers were perhaps too great, but Select, let me take down our analysis board for a moment and ask you how you managed to pull off that incredible comeback in Game 2. Uh, <laughs> I wanted to go to third game, so I really tried hard. <laughs> I guess that's why. <laughs> and of course, I think it goes without saying that you enjoyed the show that Team Select put on for you. And I, ha I have to say thank you once again to our ally who helped contribute. Ladies and gentlemen, Team Select. Ladies and gentlemen, Team Select. <laughs> and now it's time to interview the losers of game two. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, come here, come here, come, come close to me. The winners of the series will be advancing on to Saturday tomorrow to play on the epic storm map the most chaotic of all three team in control <laughs> now Jeff I have to ask about the techniques that you used in game two to stay in it <laughs> well, I, I gotta say infestors are really good units that was <laughs> especially when you get rid of the whole like distance thing if that's not a problem they're really good <laughs> You can literally hide them in the back of your base, and they're incredibly successful on their own. If only Broodlords and Infestors both had that same range. Maybe next time. Oh. Yeah. Oh. Yeah, that's... <laughs> but you get to use that as a Protoss player. Yeah, that's right. And as a matter of fact, Jeff, I have to ask, what, what was your overall technique to be able to pull off those wins in game one and three? Uh, well, one and three, um, we were able to have two people in the game at the same time. So, <laughs> so I, fi I, I find that we're such a good team that when I'm out of the game, 
he can take on both of them for like an hour and a half. <laughs> and I know you get the opportunity to avenge the death of your teammate Machine on Saturday. What do you have to say in his defense? Well, I mean, if I had to avenge every time he died, I'd be a busy, busy man. That would be... <laughs> Come on. <laughs> As if I'm one to talk. Give me a break. Anyways, uh, you know, I, I heard about demons and I heard about nukes. This time we got banelings. Um, and thank God for investors. Um, <laughs> and Browder. I guess we equally thank those. Um, I don't know. What's the... St I mean, the storm map. Is that, is that Templar? Like Infinite Range Storm? It's actually just... It's just storms happening kind of everywhere all at the same time. I'm from Seattle, it's, man. It's fine. Well, <laughs> well, it does a little bit more than get you just wet, I will say. I had a sexual joke about that, too. Yeah. <laughs> after it came out of my mouth, I was like, how did my brain let that one slip out on, onto the microphone? But either way, I have to, I have to invite up. The champion of game number two, the man who pushed it to an hour and a half. What was that like battling against select, against rampant workers, and all those Bane links? How did you do it for a full hour and 15 minutes? <laughs> I, I, it's just natural talent, I guess. <laughs> yes. Well, ladies and gentlemen, congrats to Team EG in control. Yes, yes. It is now time for us to get set up as quickly as possible. Well, when we come back, we're going to get all sorts of bonus information. And we'll be heading into match number two. See you then.